Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Now in the second video of our crown preparation procedures, we'll be discussing the birds that I used. So let's go ahead and watch. These are round birds straight burrs and depth cutting gorges. Now all these burrs either individually or in combination are used to create depth cutting grooves on the surface of the tooth. Now these grooves are especially useful in controlling the amount of tooth structure that needs to be removed. This is flat and tapered diamond. You can observe the sides are tapered and the edges flat. Like this. This is round and tapered diamond. The sides are tapered, the edges round like this. You can observe it. This is small size, this is large sized. This is torpedo diamond. These burrs have straight sides and a bevel shaped or a torpedo shaped tip like this. You can observe it. This is interproximal needle. You can see how sharp it is. It is used to remove the interproximal contact point. Now if you compare it with a flat and tapered burr, you can see the difference in its sharpness. Pear shaped burr, football shaped burr, donut shaped burr and barrel shaped burr. All these burrs can be used for anterior lingual reduction. They can also be used for occlusal reduction of the posteriors if required. These are end cutting burrs, the sides are blank, the cutting diamond is present only at the edges, you can see it here. These are basically used for finishing the margins after they have been prepared. This row is basically meant for the depth cutters, the round burr, straight burr and the depth gorges. Our next row is meant for bulk reduction, these are the flat and tapered diamonds, round and tapered diamonds interproximal needle and the torpedo burr. Now this row is used for basically anterior lingual reduction and occlusal reduction if required. Donut shaped, pear shaped, football shaped and barrel shaped burrs. Now these two are end cutting burrs used for finishing the margins. So basically these are the different type of burrs which are required for crown cutting procedures and you should be familiar with all of them. Coming to the individual description of the burrs, first are the round and the straight diamonds. Now both these burrs are used for the purpose of preparing depth guiding grooves on the occlusal, incisal and the tapial surfaces of the tooth. If you look at the photograph, you will observe this is an occlusal surface of the molar. Here a round burr is being used to make depth guiding pits. Now these pits they will be joined and they will act as a guide to remove to ascertain the amount of tooth structure that needs to be removed. Round end tapered diamond burrs. Now these burrs they are used for the bulk reduction of the occlusal, axial and the proximal surfaces of the tooth. They are also used for the preparation of chamfer margins. Now this is the diameter of the tip of the burr. About half the diameter of the tip is used to create these margins. Now how are they used? These burrs, they are placed parallel to the long axis of the tooth during preparation and this automatically creates a taper of 3 to 5 degrees in the walls and produces chamfer margins. Now if you look at the photograph, you will see it here. Now this burr, it is being placed, this burr is just being placed parallel to the long axis of the tooth which is this. Now as it is placed, it creates a 
taper of 3 to 5 degrees to this wall here also as it is placed and it is used to cut the tooth here the margin like here about chamfer margin is created which is half the diameter of the tip of the burr now flat and tapered diamond burrs now similar to the round and tapered diamond burrs they are also used for the bulk reduction of the occlusal axial and proximal surfaces now they have a different shape they have flat shape at the tip here you can see it therefore they are used for the preparation of shoulder margins in the tooth and how are they used they are placed parallel to the long axis of the tooth during preparation and it automatically creates a taper of 3 to 5 degrees in the walls and produces shoulder margins. If you look at the photograph here, now these are the, these are the shoulder margins which have been prepared in the tooth and these walls, they have a taper of 3 to 5 degrees. Torpedo diamond or straight cylinder diamond with tapered point. Now this tapered point is also used for the bulk reduction of the tooth and to create chamfer margins like the round and tapered diamond. Now if you look at its shape, this burr here, this tip is sharp torpedo like. Now when it is used, the burr is made to sink only to half the width of the burr. That means only half the width is used. It is mostly indicated for molars and not for premolars and incisors. Now if you look at this photograph, you can see we hold the bird parallel to the long axis of the tooth and as we hold it, we can use it for bulk reduction. Also, we only sink it to half the size of the tip. Next is interproximal or needle shaped diamond. Now these diamonds, they are used for breaking the interproximal contact. They are very thin and they tend to lose their sharpness very quickly. In this picture, you can see this is a short needle and this is a long needle. Here, you can see how they are being used. This interproximal needle shape burr, it is used in the proximal area and here it, it has broken the contacts here and here. Donut or wheel shaped diamond. Now, they are used to create mechanical retentions, deep cuts, occlusal reductions and lingual reduction of the anterior teeth. Pear shaped or oblong diamonds. They are used for the lingual reduction of anterior teeth. They are available in different sizes that can uniformly reduce the fossa as for the requirement. Another shape is flame shaped or tapered oblong diamond. Now these small shape, small flame shaped diamonds, they can be used for bevel placement. Barrel shaped or double cone diamond. Now they can be used for occlusal reduction or lingual reduction of the anterior teeth as per the requirement. End cutting diamond. Now if you look at this photograph, you will observe that in this burr, the cutting edges or the cutting diamond is present only at the edge. The sides, they are blank. Therefore, they are used for finishing the shoulder margins without touching the axial wall. Hence, they are designed for selective work in one area only. At this stage, it is important for you to know that the birds, they come in different diamond grids. The grid size of the bird determines how aggressively it is able to cut the tooth. If you observe the photograph, you will see that at the neck of these burrs, there are different colored rings present. Now, these colored rings, they determine the coarseness of the grain. And this is the color coding is standardized by ISO regulatory. The most common colors indicating the grit are white it indicates super fine yellow is extra fine red is fine now these three colors they're basically used for finishing the tooth preparation then there is blue it is standard it is used for all routine preparations green is coarse black indicates super coarse they're basically used for bulk reductions of the tooth i hope you enjoyed the lecture you see, it is very important for you to be well versed with your burrs before you can start with tooth preparation. Do like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.